Alright everybody, welcome back to another Body by Books uh, recipe. Cold brew coffee. Today, uh, this is going to be a really easy one. All you need is coffee, filtered water, and a cold brew kit. Eh, they're like 20 or $30 on wherever you go. You want to start off by having a stick of gum on the left. You're going to put a bag down and then pull it back out and uh, realize you need to replace it so it is in the frame. Uh, and then slide your dirty glass jar from the cold brew kit into the frame, which is good. And then you're going to get uh, this cylinder that goes inside of the cold brew kit. That is what you're going to fill with coffee. You can have them at a coffee place grind it to specifically a cold brew setting. Or if not, just do uh, coarsely ground. Pretty simple. Uh, then you just pour it in there like so. I don't pour it all the way to the top because uh, the water pushes the coffee to the top anyways so I only put it about four-fifths of the way up. That's way more than four-fifths. Like I said, you put it about six-sevenths of the way up and then put it into your cold brewing machine or contraption, apparatus, something like that. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that pretty soon here you're going to see me attempt something really dumb and I'm pretty sure it's coming up here but until then I'm gonna distract you with my soothing voice oh here it comes you try and hold that over the thing there with one hand that holds a couple gallons and you realize you're too stupid to function as a human being you grab that and fill it with water uh, off camera and in which case uh, the narrator will now have to entertain you for about one minute uh, and uh, this is where I pour the water in making sure it does not spill over uh, as you would probably guess and uh, you try and keep just put it in as slow as you possibly can because sometimes even though it's coarsely ground uh, it still overflows Co coarsely ground does allow for a better water flow um, so just remember that if you grind it too finely it's going to be very hard to get the water to pass through it easily which means it's going to be harder for it to filter and uh, create the cold brew coffee so use coarsely ground as stated just now I originally when I was making them uh, did not and it was a mistake and there you go what looks kind of like uh, something that has been expelled from another person, but it is in fact going to be coffee in the future. Uh, it already expels some of the coffee juices when you pour water on it for good reason. Uh, that is because that is how cold brew is made, and I don't know why I did this. This does not make sense at all, but unfortunately I already did it, and like I said, this is improv and I'm just going to keep on talking. Uh, and about here is where I finish the video. You're going to want to wait about 24 hours. Uh, I did not say that with three exclamation points, so let's just keep going. Uh, and here I will show you my amazing coffee cup that is in the shape of a question box. Uh, and there is the coffee after 24 hours. It looks like coffee. It is pretty amazing and very low in acidity which is very good because uh, you don't want to consume too many things that will uh, hurt your stomach lining because that will uh, be bad for you you know you don't want it to be bad for you so then you pour that in there and uh, probably going to leave a ring of coffee on the counter because you didn't pour that right and you're gonna try and show that without pouring it out on the counter and then you drink it um, and as you can see my stick of gum is still there and I enjoyed the uh, coffee the coffee was good and there you have it thanks for playing guys uh, please like subscribe comment share whatever if you want a recipe let me know um, I know this was barely a recipe uh, but I had to do it because I was at a Phoenix fan fusion festival con or something uh, over the weekend and I did not have time to make a full-on video but I assure you I will have a full better video by the end of this week or next week something like that but anyways uh, 
yes, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, let me know what kind of coffee you like. There's light, dark, medium, uh, blends, all sorts of stuff. So if you have any uh, input and if you want me to try a specific brand of coffee, uh, please share in the comments below because I will try it. I will try it on camera if you want me to. Uh, but please don't make me try anything that's too crazy. But anyways, thanks for playing, guys.